Would you like to go for your walk? Hi, everybody. I wanted to catch everybody up on what's been going on. So as everybody knows, I was on my injections. It was Saturday and I was about to be on day seven, give myself the day seven injections that night. And I had my ultrasound. My doctor has said that there were three follicles on the right. And remember that the follicles contain the egg. So one follicle equals one egg usually. Usually the follicles contain the egg. Sometimes, rarely though, they don't contain an egg, but anyway. So my doctor said there were three follicles in the right ovary and five in the left. And what was weird about that is that the cyst is in the left ovary. And I knew from the beginning that my doctor would not be able to retrieve eggs from the left ovary because if she happens to puncture that cyst with a needle, and the cyst happens to be malignant, then I have cancer all in my pelvis. So that was not an option to retrieve from the left ovary. So I thought it was weird, and so did she, that um, there were more follicles in the left ovary with the cyst than in the right ovary without the cyst. Um, just because there wasn't space. The cyst was taking up 62% of the space in my ovary, so it just didn't make sense. We were just keeping an eye on everything, seeing if the follicles would continue to grow because they were small. And I had my ultrasound like I had been having. I had the ultrasound done and my doctor shut off the screen and the nurse left the room and, and the doctor said, Isabella, I do not recommend that you proceed with this retrieval. And um, I was just completely confused. She said that they always advise against removing any follicles if it is three or less, just because the likelihood of any of them making it and being healthy eggs is not great. So um, there was only one. Uh, there were there was only one of the three follicles on my right ovary that had grown a little bit, and it was only 12 millimeters. To be able to be retrieved and be considered mature, they have to be between 16 and 18 millimeters. So out of the three on my right fall, uh, right ovary, one was 12 millimeters, still small. The other one was about 10, and then one shrunk. And I didn't even know that they could regress. So um, I would have gotten max one egg out of that right ovary, and I probably would not even have gotten that because it wasn't mature enough. She said the um, follicles in my left ovary, all five were great size. She actually said it was six. It had grown, there was another one that popped up. Um, all six of them were ready to be retrieved and she would have given me the trigger shot that day, which means that my body would have been triggered to ovulate 35 or 48 hours later, but my retrieval would have been 35 hours later to ensure that my body didn't ovulate before the doctor could take the eggs. And so, uh, that was completely the opposite effect that the doctor thought that the medications would have on me. She thought that the right ovary is what would grow the most eggs because it didn't have a cyst in it. To just be excited about the retrieval and hopeful and try to be positive all along uh, and, and to know that there was a cyst there, but we were just going to work with one ovary, it would be fine. I would probably have less. I didn't expect that I wouldn't get any. And my doctor recommended that we proceed with having the cyst removed before another retrieval. And having to cancel an egg retrieval because you don't have enough eggs isn't super common, but it does happen, according to my doctor. Being an ovarian failure, only 21, with my AMH as low as it is, I'm losing time. Every month that goes by, I lose eggs. The next video will be probably about the surgery to remove the cyst. That, that surgery will be laparoscopic uh, using a couple small incisions, one in my belly button and a couple other ones in my lower abdomen to insert cameras and remove the cyst uh, that way and put it in a bag and drain it just in case it is cancerous and then it will be sent off to pathology and tested to see what exactly it was, what caused it. Hopefully it wasn't cancerous or isn't cancerous. It's still inside me at this point. 
So after healing for three weeks, I'll start back up on the injections and do it all over again and try to get as many eggs as I can. So that's what's been going on. It's been a rough couple days. It's been a rough summer, really. I feel like I've rambled a lot this entire video, but um, I think in a way doing these videos, no matter how many people see them, is therapeutic for me because I'm getting to talk about it to a third party, not just my mom <laughs> and uh, people who are close to me. So it's been helpful to be doing these and I've never expected a huge response to this channel because it is so new, but also it's a genetic disorder and people who don't have it aren't gonna be super interested in it. And that's fine, I get it, I wouldn't be. Um, I, I just hope that the people who are in my shoes do see it. The people who are young girls who were just diagnosed with this are in ovarian failure and are looking at retrieving their eggs. I hope that they see it. With all that being said, I hate to be a Debbie Downer. <laughs> we're going to try to maintain positivity. I am only like two days out from hearing this news. so. So thanks for watching if you've tuned in, and I will see you in the next video, whenever that will be. It'll be about the surgery. Bye.